you do, and I know you do a lot. And uh, we had him as a guest speaker not too long ago at the Rotary Club in the Bedford, and there was more people to help out. So God bless you for what you do. I'd like to thank um, Chapter 499 for this great honor. And one of the big honors it was is to join this chapter. So it all started with an ad in the newspaper that said it's on a, like a Memorial Day parade. All veterans can join in on that. So, so I said, oh, let me go try because all throughout my years I was discriminated against and everything and, and um, put down. I think I wasn't sure that the Vietnam veterans would let a Navy guy in, you know. So, <laughs> so, so I went in there, and that, that's when they all opened arms and welcomed me. And I said, "Wow, you know." Okay. And it, it, first time I got a thank you. I was about 53 years old, you know. And that was a motorcycle guy. I would stay up in Newport with my wife. He says, "Ah, oh, I'm, I'm a Navy so I said, Yeah, buy this hat. You're a veteran. You're a Vietnam veteran." Okay. So I bought the, bought the hat and I said. All right, I mean, I'm thinking the way people discriminate, he did us at the time. So, this guy comes around with a motorcycle. I said, then he sees me, comes over. I said, oh, he's gonna beat me up. <laughs> so, so he, as, he came over and he hugged me. I said, welcome. That was my first one. So the next time that the scene was on the parade, and I asked another group, I wasn't not sure what the group was, but anyway, I said, and then they seemed to be in our veterans. I said, let me go ask those guys if I could join. And that was all open arms. So it all started with a newspaper ad. And I'd like to thank everybody for the song. Thank you. <laughs> I walked in, they wanted me to be a junior vice commander. I went to commander, and now I'm the district commander of 12 chapters in Southeast Massachusetts. And I go around helping veterans all over the place. Yeah, thank you.